everyone. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I have an unboxing to share with you guys from the online art supply store, Grabby. Now, I got a message from them asking if I would like to pick out something from their store and review it for you guys. So, um, I went and checked them out and saw their store, how it was set up. I thought it was really nicely, a really nicely curated store. They have some really cool items, a lot of watercolors, paintbrushes, some watercolor pencils. So um, I said, sure, um, why not? And um, this is the box that I just received. Um, so let's open it up and see what we have inside. It was, uh, I took off the plastic uh, uh, wrapping originally because I thought that was kind of um, boring and tedious just to open that part up. So we're just going to open up the box inside. They have a nice little sticker on top with their logo, like this box. So it's actually kind of a nice, you can reuse it, recycle it, and, use, and I can use it again. Now, first thing they have here is a postcard with... Um, this picture that says, may the art be with you. They let me know that this is, you can color this and enter. They have a contest you can enter to win $50 um, to use any on any items in their store. You just have to color this card, post it on Instagram, and then tag Grabby Official and a bestie. So you guys have to tag them and one of your friends, and then you'll be entered in their contest they have every week. Um, and then also they give you a 12% coupon code, but they gave me a 15% off coupon code for you guys to use on anything in their, in their store. And it's crystal 15. I'm gonna flash it on the screen here and I'm also gonna add it to my description. So if you wanna go over there and check them out, you can use my code crystal15 and get 15% off. And then I'm gonna also leave you the link in my description to get this PDF where you can um, color this in. You don't even have to make a purchase. You could just grab the PDF, color it in, post it up on your Instagram, tag Grabby and one of your besties and you'll be entered in their $50 um, contest. So that's pretty cool. And let's see the actual product. That's what we came here to check out, right? So it's bubble wrapped really nicely. Um, I chose this um, 12 color shimmer solid watercolors in the color, the theme of the colors is candy. Now, actually I actually had kind of a hard um, sticker on the back with their logo again. I was actually having a hard time deciding which color set to get because they have a few in on this product. They have this one, Candy. Um, I really like the other ones. They had, they had Vintage. I'll flash them up on the screen if I remember. They have, let me see, they have Vintage colors. Um, galaxy colors and um, macaroon colors. Uh, let me see what else. Yeah. So they come in a 12, you could get a 12 piece set or a six piece set. So I decided to get this candies ones because I thought it was kind of like pastelish colors. I know, think we're all kind of into pastels lately. So I thought you guys might find that one, that color set more interesting. Um, it's really cute packaging. Um, I like that, this little cardboard thing. You could put them back in there if you want. And let's see, they're in this nice little plastic. Let's see if I can open it up. They're kind of, they're like in here loose. So um, you can actually put these if you have any other sets of watercolors and like pans and stuff. You could leave them in here, of course. You can put them in, like say I have this empty tin. I was thinking I'll put them in here later on after we test them out. 
Okay, so there's 12 colors here. Um, they don't seem to have any kind of color names. Usually, um, let me see, I think they have the color names on the website. So if I'm gonna check the website and get the, write down the color names and we'll be right back and we'll swatch them out and see how they look on black and white paper. So we'll do that next. All right, I was able to get the color names from the website. Um, I made a little swatch sheet over here with um, half black, half white paper. Um, the paper I'm using is uh, Astro Bright's uh, 65 pound cardstock. Now I probably should be showing this to you on watercolor paper, but this is the paper that I use most often when I'm printing out PDFs. So I, for me, I wanted to test it out on these papers since that's the ones that I'll, I use most for coloring. Um, I'm not any kind of like watercolor freestyle artist or anything, so I can't, um, I'm not gonna be using these for that kind of art, but I'm most likely gonna be using these to uh, color and coloring books, um, backgrounds, that sort of thing. So I thought I would test them out on this paper would be best. And I wrote down all the color names. I rearranged the colors the way they were on the website. I think I got the color. I think I put them the right way. Um, I think I matched them up pretty good. So let's get started. And I have them activated. Let's add some more water here. Start off with the light yellow color. This one seems a little bit lumpy. First impressions, but let's see how it, how it comes out on the paper. This one seems to need a little more water in here. Let's see. Hopefully we're on camera. I'm in a different spot than I normally um, film in. I had um, last week, there was a snowstorm, like a big snowstorm and a rainstorm. And what's this, the yellow? And I got this really big leak in my kitchen right over the table where I film. So I had to move my operations to a different part of the, a different side of the kitchen. So my setup's a little bit wonky over here. I'm not used to this setup, so. Hopefully everything's working out all right. I'm still waiting for my landlord to come and fix this one some more. This yellow seems a little nicer than the other one. I'm still waiting for my landlord to come and fix it though and paint and everything. So for the time being, everything's in a big disarray in my kitchen. I got everything all over the place. I'm already kind of all over the place as it is just in general, but um, now I'm really all over the place. This is kind of like a pastel minty kind of green. I know some of these seem a little lumpy. I don't know if it's the pigments or what. I don't know if that really means anything, but some of them seem kind of smooth and some of them, like you see this yellow looks bumpy and this one just seems like nice and smooth. Okay, this color is I would say smooth, but I kind of think I mean, the word I'm looking for is creamy. These are more cream, some of them are cream, seem creamier than other, the other ones. Just green. But we'll 
see how what they really look like when they actually dry. Check them out. And then the next one is powder blue. This is kind of seems like a turquoise kind of a color. That's pretty. I like that color. And then next up is blue. I hope everyone's having a really nice day today. The set came at a perfect time because um, I'm off today to film this video. I have a part-time job and I don't work on Mondays and Thursdays. So that seems like the best times for me to film videos for you guys. So that seems like it's going to be my schedule going forward. Um, that's blue. Let's check this one out. This is powder purple. The powder, I'm just probably, they mean like a pastel purple. That's pretty. Next is light pink. I have two um, little containers over here of water. I use my used yogurt containers. I actually, I purposely bought them just to get them for using for art art stuff you know like putting pastels mixing pastels and using them for watercolors stuff like that i don't even actually like yogurt so much but i was like oh those are so cute that would be good for um i can make them they would be useful for coloring and watercolors and paints and stuff like that and holding my pencils. I have a few of them around my house with pot, like just like bunches of pencils that I'm working on different things with. Um, that was pink, light pink. Did we say light pink, pink? This is kind of like a neon pink, I like that one too. This is rose red. Mm, it's kind of like I'm like a kind of almost like a mauve, a mauvey color. Let's see. And then orange is last, last but not least is orange. Let's see how that one comes out. I think maybe I put too much water in some of these. Mm -hmm. Orange, eh, orange is not my really favorite color. What's your favorite color? I don't know, my color, my favorite color kind of changes with my mood. I like all colors. The only colors I don't really, I'm not really crazy for is like orange. Although I do like orange and blue together. For some reason, I'm not crazy for orange, but I like to mix put orange and blue together a lot. And I'm not really crazy for brown, I guess. Um, but I think right now my favorite color is our blues. Like blues and purples, like pinks. When I was little, it was yellow. Yellow was everything, but I'm not really crazy for yellow anymore either. I don't know. Okay, so we'll give these some time to dry and we'll come back and check them out. All right, we're back. I gave this these paints some time to dry and let's see how they look. Very nice and shiny, you can kind of see catch the lights and see the shine. Very pretty. Um, while I was giving these time to dry, I ended up testing them out onto this coloring page. I This is an image from this book, Ethereal Beauties 3 by Remy Pastel. I just did a flip through of Ethereal Beauties one, two, and three, all of them. So if you'd like to check these out, I really, really love the artwork from this artist, Remy Pastel. It's really, really pretty um, images. And so this one, I picked this one out and I printed it out on that same paper that we used for the swatches earlier. 
first intentions was just to, I was just going to, you know, do the background just to show you guys how it looked laid down. But then I got carried away with myself and decided to just finish the whole page. And I did it just did a little, really quick um, with markers, mostly markers, alcohol markers, and did a lot of outlining in pencil. Just so you guys can get an idea of, you know, what a completed page would look like um, when you use using the product we're testing out. So, um, yeah, I think I really like them. But they're nice. I would use them again, definitely. Um, gave it a nice little shine to the background. Gives it kind of like a very multimedia type of look. Little more excitement to your coloring pages. I noticed too when uh, you know the one that ones I was saying were, were kind of lumpy when we were first swatching them out. Um, this light yellow one. I noticed the lumpier ones. Maybe they need more water. And see, so you can kind of tell now it's not so lumpy because I added a lot of water. I did the light yellow over here, and then this darker yellow on the outside and blue on this part and this color, was it called powder blue? Yeah, the powder blue that I think is really like a turquoise and came out nice and pretty. Um, I'm thinking some of them must be, I don't know, drier than others for some reason. Some of them seem to like absorb, like suck up the water like a sponge almost. Um, like you see this purple one, I, they've been I haven't used them for hours and you can see most of them are all dry, but this one's still kind of wet. Oh, that's interesting. So I like them. Very cool. Definitely would recommend you guys to get them if you like them, if you like the colors, um, definitely check them out. I'll leave the link for this particular set in down in the description box with all of the other links to that I mentioned earlier, like to the contest and to get the PDF for the contest, um, their Instagram contest. And I think that'll do it for this product review. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to Grabby for letting me try out um, one of your products from your store. I had a lot of fun. I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring and I'll see you next time.